Hey you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by all these boxes behind me and by the title of today's video, I am bringing you the long-awaited huge unboxing that I have been teasing and talking about on all of my platforms for way too long now, but I also had to wait for all of these packages to come in the mail and throughout the past few weeks, actually probably two months I would say, I have just been going absolutely ham online and even in store shopping. Definitely should not have done this much damage, but here we are now and it is only fair and right that I show you guys and unbox with you all the things that I got. There's a whole pile on the floor right here of clothes that I have already unboxed, but I have not worn a lot of them yet because I wanted to save them to show you guys for this video. But as you can see behind me, there are a whole bunch of other packages that I have yet to open. So we're going to open them together right now. I actually forget half of the stuff that I ordered because it's been, like I said, about a month since like the very first packages arrived. So it's kind of going to be like the first impressions also. And I'm so excited that I'm finally going to open everything. So I think I'm just going to start with Sephora because you could never go wrong. I have gone on two separate occasions so that's why there are two separate bags but starting with the first time I went I actually did a mini haul over on my TikTok. It's actually still all packaged. I have not used nearly any of this stuff yet so I'm finally going to be able to use it after this video but this was not from Sephora, but I did put it in this bag because I don't want to lose it. This is the Road Barrier Restore Cream. Obviously not from Sephora but as you can see it's literally almost already done. This stuff is so amazing and I've been using it every day since I got it and I need to repurchase it. So please restock ASAP because I need you. The Way Wave Spray smells amazing. Have not used it yet, but I have heard great things. The Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I have also heard great things about this. I've used this a few times, but like I said, I've just been keeping everything kind of the way it came. I haven't been able to give it like its full share of if I like it or not. Next, I got the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods Rollerball Perfume. This is perfect for on the go, for traveling, or anything like that. I've never owned any products from that brand, but it smells amazing, so that's all that really matters. Next up, I got the Say Dewy Blush. This has been one of my favorite brands recently and the packaging is just so beautiful and this shade is everything. As you guys can probably see, I'm wearing super minimal makeup, but blush during the summer, during the season is literally my favorite thing ever and something that I genuinely cannot leave the house without. So I love me a nice blush. Next, I got the Refi Gloss Highlighter in the shade Topaz. This brand is so amazing and I want everything from them. Like a little really does go a long way with this stuff. I don't know, can you guys see that? It literally just shimmers so beautifully. You can put this on your collarbones, on your cheekbones, literally anywhere. I'm gonna put some on because why the hell not? Also, I forgot to mention that this video is probably gonna be like 30 something minutes because I can't really edit much out and I want to try on half the stuff that I got, so it might be a while before I get through all of it. So grab some popcorn, grab a snack, grab a drink, sit down and enjoy. Actually lay down and enjoy because this is just the start. Next up, I got the Kosas Concealer in the shade 3.2. Again, have heard great things about this. Have not used it yet, but I'm super excited too. Hopefully it's my shade, I'm not too sure. So that's everything from the first Sephora bag. And now moving on to the second one. This is the stuff that I picked up the other day when I was in the city with Ella and Jordan. Starting off with the WOW Dream Coat for Curly Hair. Also have heard great things about this, not only from everyone on TikTok, but from Jordan and Ella as well. Um, I got the one for curly hair. I do have kind of wavy hair, so I figured this would be better off than the just regular one. Also have not used it, but I'm very excited too. And then the last thing that I got from Sephora is the Drunk Elephant De-Bronzy Anti-Pollution sun, sun Shine Drops. Why was that such a tongue twister? This you just mix in with your moisturizer. Also heard great things about this, but specifically from Jordan and Ella. I actually use this today. So if you like the way that my makeup is looking, this is part of what I'm wearing. And it went on amazing. It looks amazing. It feels like I'm wearing nothing and it adds a nice glow and color to a very simple look. I also just remembered while I'm talking that I have a Sephora box somewhere here because some of the shades that I 
needed weren't available in store so I did do an online purchase we'll get to it at some point throughout this video but next up I guess since it's right here I went to Louis Vuitton and I got a few things starting off with this super super cute little key holder money holder pouch super small super sleek and I just love these things I have like two of them one from Chanel and one from Dior but I love the Louis Vuitton one. This is not like the classic one that I feel like a lot of people have. It's a little different. It's like a navy blue with cream and it's just so perfect. I love it and it matches everything. Also fits a lot more than you would think. The next thing that I got from Louis Vuitton that I'm sure you guys have been seeing on me all day, every day. I have been posting in this a ton. This has been my everyday bag for the past month, I would say, since I had it. It's just the cutest little thing ever in life and you would think as small as it is that it doesn't fit a lot but it literally fits my whole life. Like I'm just going to start pulling stuff out of here like this whole wallet, this whole wallet, a Purell, my keys, a whole bunch of like batteries, hair ties, Listerine stuff like this bag literally fits so much and it's the cutest size. It matches everything because it's just nice and neutral. So yeah, I love her and she's definitely one of my favorite bags. And you can also wear it as a crossbody because these straps are just so unrealistic at times, but yeah, I love it. And then the last thing that I got from Louis Vuitton is something that I have been wanting for so long. This is the makeup case. I honestly don't know the actual names of all these products, but I will link as many things as I can in the description below if you guys are interested. But this is just like, at least I use it for makeup. I'm not sure what it's meant for, but as you can see, it's just my makeup case. I use it for my everyday makeup, but also it's perfect when traveling. It honestly looks really messy right now, but I promise I know where everything is and it's just amazing. Yeah, so. Super excited about this and she's beautiful. I guess I'll grab at this because it's just the first one that I see. These are from Amazon. They come in literally a pack of like 100. Also, if you see all this like black scribble on all these packages, I crossed off my address just for security purposes. So don't mind that, but oh my God, how ironic. Okay, so this is Something that I have been wanting to open for so long. I didn't know which pack. Excuse me. I didn't know which package it was, but like I was just saying, I was with Jordan and Ella. And speaking of Jordan, this is her merch with Amazon. It says everything happens for a reason. It is a phrase that she lives by, but also something that I also live by. And right here it just says E-H-F-A-R, which stands for everything happens for a reason. It is just the cutest, why is everything making so much noise? It is just the cutest sweatshirt ever. It comes in a zippy. It comes in so many different sizes and so many different colors. I got a double XL because I want to wear this just to throw on when I want to be super loungy and comfy. I love me a nice big and oversized hoodie or sweatpants as most of you probably know. So this is just perfect to add to my collection and it's nice and colorful which I love but yeah I absolutely love this and Jordan you're amazing so I cannot wait to wear this next up is this package from Amazon obviously actually the day that I'm filming this is prime day so it's kind of ironic that I'm opening all of these Amazon boxes but some of this stuff actually is from prime day from yesterday so starting off with three CeraVe moisturizers. I always need to be stocked up on these moisturizers because I cannot go a day without them. Next up, I got this Appleberry Lip Oil by the brand Noonie. I already have one of these, and if you guys can see, it's near empty. This stuff is so incredibly amazing. The color, the moisturizing of it, everything about it, it's not sticky. It is actually probably one of my best and favorite Amazon finds that I've ever had. I'm so obsessed with it that I got another one because it's just amazing. I reapply it like a million times a day. And then I got the We Are Not Really Strangers Friendship Edition cards. They're like a playing card set and they have ones for relationships, friendships, family, all that stuff. And I got the friendship one because I couldn't find the relationship one online. And I wanna play this with Ella and Jordan. We already planned like 
a dinner date to play this and just have a fun little picnic on the beach. I'm just gonna throw all the packages, like empty packages over there because I'm gonna clean them up at the very end. Next up is this package. It has nothing on it because I took off the label, but I know exactly what this is. I ordered a few things off Depop, so if you guys don't know what Depop is, which I'm sure you do, it is where people buy and sell clothes. So I bought this from someone who was selling clothes, obviously, what am I saying? And it is just Indiana Hoosiers, really cute tea. I love me a graphic tea for sleeping, throwing on, doing whatever. And if you guys don't know, my boyfriend does go to Indiana, so I love wearing and representing. Next up, I'm gonna go for is this bag. This is obviously, if you guys don't know, Brandy Melville. I went to Brandy the other day when I was in the city with Jordan and Ella. If you guys watch that vlog, it should be up by this point, but I already did a haul of the stuff that I got, the stuff that we all got when we were in the city, and this was part of the haul, but in case you didn't watch that, I will show you again right now. So this is the shirt that I got. It just says Red Lips Sink Ships, and it has the same logo on the back. And then I just got these really cute floral pajama shorts. I'm sure you've been seeing these all over TikTok. They have really cute matching pajama sets and they're just super soft and super comfy and the easiest things to throw on. I also have another package somewhere in here from Brandy Online as well. So as we go on in this video, you will see it at some point. So next up is Apple. I went in and I got these headphones. A lot of you may hate the way that they look, but I personally don't care because I love them and they're so comfortable. I don't know if it's just me, but when I wear AirPods, especially on long flights and stuff like that, they hurt my ears so badly and I just can't stand them. So I've always wanted over the ear headphones, um, not so much for working out, but just for, like I said, traveling and wearing them for long periods of time. They just look like this. I literally can't hear you guys because it's like it just went on silence mode. They look so cute. I just got the black color and they're so comfortable. I wore these when I went to Vegas and LA and they're so comfortable. Like I was so easy to fall asleep on the plane. They weren't irritating my ears. They're not too heavy and they come with this cute little like magnet case. So yeah. Okay. So next up is this package from 437. So I have not really spoken much about it here on my channel, but I am going to Hawaii with a bunch of other girls and I'm so excited about it, but a lot of the shopping that I have been doing and that I'm showing you during this haul is for the trip that we're going on. So a lot of bikinis, a lot of like Hawaiian type outfits, a lot of just like outfits that you wouldn't typically see me wearing or just a lot of summery outfits. I don't have any other vacations planned aside from Hawaii at the moment, but in the event that I do go somewhere else, I will be bringing all of these and that will just give me another excuse to do more shopping for Hawaii. But as of right now, all the stuff that I'm showing you is going to be coming with me to Hawaii, such as this bathing suit right here from 437. This has been a bathing suit that I've been seeing all over TikTok and all over Instagram, and I'm just so obsessed with it. This is actually my first bathing suit from 437, and I'm so just in love. This really cute pink floral pattern. So it just looks like this. So cute, I love the pattern, and it's just so elegant and pink. Is my favorite color so it's just everything and more and here are the bottoms they're a little bit more full than i like but i guess i'll get over it so yeah next up is from doesn't say so okay i know what this is this is from amazon i'm sure you guys all already know what this is but the green set that everybody has been posting about this looks really small i think i got a size small Honestly, probably should have done a medium, but we shall see in the try on how this fits. As for the first impression of just how it looks, I have high hopes and yeah, I love this color. It's so beautiful. So now next up are two bikinis from Opali. I already opened the box, but I didn't open the actual bikinis yet. So this first one is the super pretty zigzag pattern with these braided straps. And I love how cheeky and just simple these bottoms are. And then the matching top is again a halter top because when would I ever wear anything else? The second and last one that I got from Opali is this really fun blue green and yellow one definitely looks like it's gonna be floating on me 
just because of how thin and delicate the straps are. But I absolutely love it. I hope that this fits. I got a size small. Not too sure about that one. And I love how they have this V cut to just give you that illusion of like a snatched waist. Okay, so next, I already unboxed it and everything because I just couldn't resist. I have not used it yet, but it is this little Prada bag, which I am so beyond obsessed with. It's just the black with all these Swarovski crystals on it and this is perfect for a night out i definitely don't ever think i would use this as a day bag i love it and i cannot wait to wear this out i have a very similar one from alexander wang but this is definitely much bigger the shape is so different like i don't have any bags that are this shape so it just gave me that much more of an excuse to buy it did i need it no but did i want it yes and that's my vibe want it yes need it no so next up, I went to Love & Honey, which is a boutique here on Long Island. Starting off with these shorts right here. I have been really into the longer short trend that I have been seeing everywhere. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And these ones are just super fun and different just because of the different color washes that they have and the back following that same type of vibe. This is something that I mean when I say this is something for Hawaii because look at the pattern. This is so hawaii like this just screams hawaii <laughs> like moana like this is giving me all the vibes and this is definitely something that i'm going to be wearing once i'm there next up i got this super pretty lavender dress it's like a silky type slip on it almost looks like a night lingerie gown type but it's so cute and you can dress it up with a pair of heels or even dress it down with sneakers and like a denim jacket or whatever and then of course i had to pick it up in white because why would i not and then next up i got this super pretty corset i know this looks like a pattern that you guys are probably like what are you doing you would never wear this but when i put it on it's just so pretty i know it kind of gives me like curtain vibes but for whatever reason it looks so good on and it's amazing next i got this super cute black denim mini skirt next up another kind of hawaii type vibe this super pretty knit dress and then lastly i got these super cute sweatpants from corrupted closet they're reworked and just so dope so different they have harley davidson and led zeppelin don't know who but love them. They fit nice and slouchy. They remind me of just like a boyfriend type fit and I love it. Super low waisted and baggy and amazing and super comfortable. Next up is Ruby and Jenna, which is yet another boutique here on Long Island. And if you guys know me or have been watching my channel for a while, you would already know both Love and Honey and Ruby and Jenna because these are two of probably my favorite boutiques here on Long Island. So starting off with the first thing I got, just these super cute pair of denim shorts by the brand Days. This brand fits so amazing and this wash is just perfect. I got them in a size 27. This super cute lounge set that I could wear to the airport or just chilling around the house or wherever I want. And it has these matching joggers, which just look like this. And then the last two things that I got are also very Hawaii, but also just very beachy for any occasion, honestly. They are these two super cute crochet bags. And I got a pink one and a black one. They have orange, blue, green. I didn't know what colors to get. I settled on the pink and the black. Black, just because you can't go wrong. This matches every bikini. And pink, just for a more fun, vibrant summer vibe. And they come with these really nice little pouches for the inside to hold your money or whatever, because obviously if you put anything small inside, it would fall out. So this is perfect for like a lip gloss or like I said, money or anything like that. They left the sensor on. Oh my god. No, this one doesn't have it. How did it not like buzz when I was leaving the store? Does anybody know how I can get this off? I mean, it's not like that annoying because it's like tucked away, but still. One, two, three. So this one I already know is another Depop seller. Oh my god, I've been wanting to wear this shirt for so long. This is the Mets and Yankees Subway Series shirt. I'm personally a Yankees fan. My boyfriend is a Mets fan and they are versing each other this month actually. So if we do end up going to the Subway Series game, this would be fun to wear. Next up is another Amazon package. So this I actually saw on TikTok. I forget who but they are this huge package of microfiber 
sponges for makeup. They just look like this. And then these are some more makeup type sponges. These ones are more for powder. They just go on your fingers like that. And next up is this package from Generation Outcast Clothing. In this whole pile down here of stuff that I have already unboxed, a lot of the stuff is from Generation Outcast, but this is just some of the stuff that was on back order that just recently came in. So starting with this really pretty neon pink crochet top. Next up is this really pretty tube top dress that has the cinching right along here. I got this super pretty, oh my God, I love this, white dress. Nothing looks good when I'm holding it up, but just wait for the try on. And then I also got this really pretty blue kind of crochet dress. Let's get in here. Don't know what this is, but we shall see. Oh, how cute. This is from PacSun. I got this like two weeks ago. It is just this super cute strawberry shortcake crew neck. I'm gonna go for this now. And I already know what this is because who else would ship? packages in a pink box other than the queen herself miss kylie jenner as most of you probably already saw all over her instagram for the past i don't know how long but she's been teasing her new glow line and i got the glow bomb i wanted the lip gloss that was kind of like the shade that i'm wearing right now but I was a little too late to the launch and it did sell out. But this is in the shade Pink Me Up. The packaging is so cute. And this is what it looks like. It's such a pretty pink. I kind of want to put some on. Oh my God, that feels so pretty. That looks so pretty. I don't know if it did anything. I didn't put that much on, but from what I could see, it looks really good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the last few bags that are here on the floor, starting with this really large one from Aritzia. I do have another Aritzia one right back here, but this is the first trip I made to Aritzia, so it's only right that I start in order of when I went and what I got first. Starting off with my most favorite socks, literally in the history of socks, and these here are the grippy ones. I have been on a pilates kick recently and these are the socks that you wear during pilates like i said i've been on a workout kick not only just pilates but i did get an equinox membership so going to the gym has been one of my newest favorite things i had to go and get a whole bunch of new workout sets to just make myself that much more motivated to go but it's like a sports bra slash tank top and then I got the matching biker shorts. I absolutely love the TNA biker shorts more than anything. They're so soft, don't give you a camel toe, and they have such amazing colors. And then I got this super pretty white, just basic tank top. And then I got this black little zip up type workout jacket with just the TNA logo on the back. And then I got a whole bunch more. Another little tank, but this one is in like a very baby pink color. And then I got these black thermal type shorts and then I got these white loose leg cargo sweatpants which have been a pair of pants that I have been wanting for so long and I love loose bottom sweatpants or any type of pant for Jordan 4s and then lastly for this trip to Aritzia I got this pastel but also like bright orange zippy with a hood I love 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 the TNA zippies and also hoodies. Next trip I made to Aritzia was when I went to the city with the girls and I got yet more stuff. Starting off with this pair of Levi shorts. Like I said, the longer style shorts have been super in lately and I love me a nice pair of Levi's, but also this wash is a little different than the other ones that I got. So it made sense in my head to get both. I got a few more pairs of the TNA biker shorts. This just simple gray color cause you can't go wrong. And then I got this bright pink color. And then I got this super pretty blue sports bra that matches with these blue biker shorts. One of the last bags, I think if not the last bag of in-store shopping. This one is from Alexander Wang. Starting off with this first bag, I got these super, super, super pretty pair of sweatpants. They're so pretty and this color is so different. I don't have any sweatpants that are this shade. So again, it felt right to have them because I don't own anything like it. So the next and last thing that I got from Alexander Wang is this super, super, super pretty pink 
bag. I'm gonna take off this packaging so you guys can see it. So here you can see it just says Wang right here along the strap. So yeah, love this bag so much and I cannot wait to wear her out. Next up, I think I already know what this is. It's so large and it doesn't say the name. Yep, yep, and yep. I got 15 Shein bikinis. Why, why, why did I do it? I'm going to Hawaii, that's why I did it. This neon yellow halter top bikini. I think every single bikini I got is halter because it just fits me the best and looks the best on me. And I literally just scrunch the bottoms until they're literally nothing. Super pretty orange one. And then I also got it in blue. I also feel like this would be cute to take like a group picture with all the girls and everyone wear their own color. They look so small when I'm holding them up, but obviously they untie and I can adjust them to me. And I got this one, which is so different and so fun. It has these hearts and it's kind of like mesh style. This one is like a gingham print style like this. I've always wanted a plain black bikini and I don't, I don't know why they're so hard to find. And I think this is yet another one in the exact same style. When I get like obsessed with something and I love something, I get it in every single color every single style until I get sick of it so that's why I was very hopeful as you can see that these are gonna be one of my new favorites so that's why I got them in every color and then I also got it in this neon pink which is so perfect I love 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 this color oh my god I cannot wait to wear all of these they're so freaking cute this one this is this one a strapless one this is just like a pretty neutral colored one it's like a strapless style like so and then these two are very fun colors oh my god did you guys ever play with watercolors when you were younger that's what this one's reminding me of like when you would blend all the colors together and then this is the last bikini another strapless the same one as the last gingham one but a little bit different in color so yeah these are all of the Shein bikinis that i got hopefully they all fit go for this guy this is Tiger Mist. I'm actually so excited about this one. So I got this whole set of thongs, which is kind of like TMI, but they're not just any thong. They literally say Sunday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then next up, I got these really cute shorts that are crochet as a beach cover up with the matching tube top. Super cute and different. I love it. And I think it's gonna be so flattering on. And then I got this super, super, super pretty dress. It looked so incredibly beautiful on the model. It just looks like this. And it ties in the back like this. It's kind of an open back. Lastly, I got this baby tee. It's actually not even a baby tee, but I'll definitely probably crop it. For Hawaii, of course, it has this cute little banana print on it giving me very Hawaii vibes. And this material of this shirt is such good quality and so different. Next up right here, I think that this is also from another Depop seller. So this is yet another Yankees tee. Like I said, I'm a Yankees fan. So cute and the back just looks like this. Also super nice and oversized to wear literally whenever. We've established this, I kid you not, maybe a thousand times already in this video, but I'll never get over my oversized stuff. So love this and I think it's just perfect for anything. I already opened it because my brother's girlfriend Mag and I did all of this shopping together online. So from White Fox specifically to save ourselves the money in shipping. We conjoined our orders and shipped it together. And yeah, so I already opened it so that I could give her the stuff that was hers from the package, but I have not opened my stuff yet. This super cute and different white kind of ruffle bikini. It looks like this, but I don't know why. I'm confused. It's just this kind of flower hibiscus type pattern, very Hawaii. This one's more of like a bra style shape, but I think it's gonna look so cute on. Next up, I got this super pretty white corset. I actually think I'm gonna wear this tonight. I'm going out to dinner with MQ, and if it looks how I think it'll look on, I'm definitely gonna wear this. Yet another white thing. I don't remember getting this many white pieces, but I guess here we are. So it's just a dress, super pretty and different. 
more family friendly, and it just has the skirt attached with the sides cut out. It like, looks really weird when I'm holding it up, but again, you'll see it in the try-on. This really cute pink top with white fox written all over it. It just looks like this. Wait, I made that so small. Moving on to Beginning Boutique. The floor around me is actually so crazy messy. Like, I'm gonna show you guys at the end, but wow, am I making a literal mess. I feel like this is Christmas morning and everybody's opening their packages, except it's just me, so. I ordered literally the exact same thing that I ordered from Amazon, but in a different shade. I honestly like the Amazon one better, like color-wise, but I probably think that this one's gonna fit a little better. Here is that same set in a little bit more light, more sage green. Okay, I guess I got another black bikini. So this is the problem. When I order so many different things at so many different times, I don't remember what I'm ordering. So I order duplicates like so, like this set, like a black bikini. I already got one from Shein, but then I got this one. This one's definitely cuter, I'll say that. Just a plain black bikini. This is so cute. So it's just a plain black skirt, a little bit looser, but definitely fitted. This black tube top mesh along the bottom, but covers up on the top where it needs to be covered. And the model was wearing those two pieces together. That's why I got them. And it was like the cutest little outfit to just throw on for a dinner or something of the sort. I guess I'll show you because I'm right here are these pair of Jordans. They just look like this. I honestly don't remember the name of these, but my Tim Madeline got me these and they just look so, so cute. But yeah, I don't have a pair of orange Jordans, do I? I don't think I do. Next up, I got another pair of sneakers. These are the Reeboks, um, a pair of sneakers that I definitely never saw myself wearing or buying, but they're so comfortable and I've been seeing them styled a lot over on Pinterest with jeans or with sweatpants or anything like that. Kind of when the shoe is more covered around here with a baggier pair of pants, like a cargo or something. And it looks so cute. I would never wear these when you can see the whole shoe. It just doesn't look the best, at least on my foot. But they're so freaking comfortable and they're a little bit more of like a cream color. So, and then next up are these Yeezys, which are the Yeezy 700s. And they just look like this. These are also from my Tim Madeline. If you told me about these last year, I probably would have said, ew, they look like space shoes or like an alien. And they still kind of do. They still give me that vibe. But I feel like styled the right way, they definitely could look really cute and really dope. Okay, so here is the Sephora box that I was talking about. So I got three things. Three of my most favorite things. Three things that I literally cannot live without. The Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 4 Medium. I haven't been wearing makeup all that much recently at least during the summer only because I've been trying to let my tan kind of shine and pop and have its moment. I don't even know why I got this if I'm being quite honest because I haven't even been wearing it but the past few times that I have gone to Sephora they have been sold out so I figured when and if I do want to start using it again at least it's good that I do have one. So this Benetton has been my literal favorite thing ever. This is the one that I currently have. It's honestly not even as empty as I thought it was. Like I said every time I've gone to Sephora I've checked out where this one was and it's always sold out. So when I do need a refill, I have it and ready to go. Next up, I got the Tower 28 Lip Jelly in the shade XOXO. This is what the one that I currently have looks like. And again, every time I go to Sephora, this shade is always sold out. So basically all three of the things that I got from Sephora online were refills of stuff that I already have and that I cannot live without. This is from Princess Polly. Tube top dress with all of these flowers on it and the really big hibiscus flowers that are just so Hawaii. These two bikinis, very floral and very bright. They obviously have strings and can be adjusted. It's very fun and bright also for Hawaii, like I've been saying a million times. This super cute green knit pair of shorts. And then I got this looks like this, I guess. I don't know. I'm confused, but cute. This white skirt with a slit. 
And then just this plain white tee. I love that. This white dress, so cute. I love this. This is very fun, very family friendly. And then lastly, I got another bikini, as you can see. And then of course, the matching bottoms. So cute. Love, love, love. I'm gonna save this baby for last because she's just my everything and more. Okay, so this, I just read what it is and I know what it is. This is from the brand called Carrot Sun. It is a maximizing browning lotion for your skin. It just looks like this. It's like a purple color. I've been using this one since last summer, but when I was on the website, I bought these two. Um, this stuff makes you so tan and it smells so good. It's so moisturizing and I'm going to save these for Hawaii. This package, cute! You guys can see it says New York fucking city and it's green with pink writing and blue stitching. So cute. I love me a nice trucker hat. I haven't been wearing them all that much this summer just because I love my slick back pony as you can see here. But I think when I go to Hawaii, I'm not gonna wanna put my hair up and have it so done every single day. So I think throwing on a hat, at least when I'm at the beach or anything like that would be perfect with nice beachy hair. And then, I guess I'll open this one since it's the one that just fell. Wait, I think I know what this is. Yes, okay, so I saw these on TikTok. They are these really fun pair of cargo pants. I actually think these are men's. I'm gonna link these below because I don't remember what brand on Amazon I got them from, but the girl that I saw styling them was so hot and she made these look so dope with like a really sick pair of sneakers and a really cool bag and a really little crop top. So I'm so excited to style these and try these on. And I got these in a size 30. And then next up is Addicted. I got quite a bit of stuff as you can see. Really cute tube top that has the letter E on it, which is ironic because my name is Evangelina. So E for me, but also E for addicted. These are also really fun to go out with, but also to lounge around in, whatever you want. They have these really hot pink drawstrings, which I love. Next up, I got this crochet style top. Ties above here, like so. I got this pair of terry cloth shorts for throwing over a bikini or wearing out. And the matching top that just looks like this. I also got this skirt, which is like a khaki type color and also kind of material as well. So cute, pleated, it almost looks like a school skirt, but definitely not because it's so short and so cute. This is something that I have been seeing on every single Addicted ad ever. It looks like this. This goes around your neck like a halter and then it has this dress that goes around it. So what's nice is that you can wear this alone as a top with a pair of denim pants or shorts or whatever. And this could even be a beach cover up with just like a plain bikini top peeking through, or you can wear them together as a dress. So there's so many different options that you can make and have with this one piece or two pieces, I guess you could say. It's like a pleather type skirt. So cute with these two buckles. And with the perfect top, that skirt is just everything. Plain black silky skirt with another slit right here. And then next up, this is from Revolve. God, she's so beautiful. It is the Danielle Guizio corset top. I just got the pink one. I also got the green one as well, but it's on back order. So I think it's coming in like a few weeks. So cute. I got it in a size small so I can cinch it or if it's too small, I can just keep it open like so. The next thing that I got from Revolve is this Stony Clover makeup slash travel slash toiletry case. And they have the perfect little travel cases ever. This comes in so many different colors, but of course I had to do pink and the gold hardware. I think this is like one of the last boxes that I'm gonna be opening. This is from Brandy Melville. This whole box from Brandy Melville is like completely discolored and also kind of like warped. Like someone must have spilled their coffee or something on my box because even down to the tissue paper, even the clothes all have like this coffee stain all over them. This entire shirt is just 
submerged. I'll show you what I got. So starting with this floral shirt, another pair of these pajama shorts. I'm definitely gonna crop this and make it more of a baby tee. It reminds me a lot of like 80s Stranger Things attire. Here is the matching tank top to those shorts. And then I got this really cute pair of these. Look at where the stain is. These I could bleach and hopefully pray that that comes out, but like how annoying. And then here is this really cute tank that has these two little angels kissing. Like I said, don't know what the stain is about, but hopefully it comes out in the wash. And if not, I guess I'll be doing something else with the pieces. I guess now is time for me to show you what is inside of this box. I already opened it because I couldn't resist, but I have not worn it yet. I haven't shown you guys, I haven't worn it, I haven't posted anything about this. So if you guys watched my Puerto Rico vlog, and if you know, or even just follow me on my Instagram, you probably know that I lost one of my Cartier rings in the ocean. I bought myself another one in honor of the one that was lost. She is so incredibly beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is not the exact one that I lost, but I figured if I was gonna buy myself one, I may as well upgrade to a little step up. So I don't know what finger I'm gonna wear it on yet because I think that these four together look obnoxious, but just for now, here is what it looks like, if it will even focus. Um, also, why are my fingernails like completely destroyed from unboxing everything? This is the last box and pair of shoes that I got. My first pair of Jordan 4s. They're so, so cute. And these are perfect for those sweatpant cargos that I got from Aritzia because they kind of drape over the shoe a little bit. They have white and there's white in the shoe. I'm just gonna show you guys that this is what I mean when I say all these clothes have just been sitting here already unpackaged but not being worn. So I still have all that stuff to go through. 